The amendment to the Limitations Act is a manifesto commitment and essentially does away with the time limit for the collection of arrears and debt. This means historic debts which were written off after a period of time because of the legal limitations can now be collected. Justice Minister Gilbert Ligudi, who tabled the bill, said it wasn't right that a debtor could take advantage of the lapse of time in order to have their debts abolished. The bill will allow the arrears unit to tackle deep debt in housing rents, for example. It cannot be considered a right. It cannot be considered somebody who has had a debt and who is simply taking advantage of the, the flux of time, of the limitation period having expired, and that debt not being enforceable as a result of that limitation period having been expired, that is not a right which has accrued, but simply taking advantage of a certain provision in the legislation, which we are now undoing in respect of government debt. The bill also grants individuals certain powers to make claims against the government which might have gotten lost in the mists of time. For example, victims of child abuse whilst under the care of social services and workers who have fallen ill whilst handling asbestos will now be able to make claims years later as the time limitations have been done away with. Opposition leader Daniel Feetham said his side of the House would be supporting any measure to tackle what he described as the culture of entitlement in many areas of our society. He said the state had to balance the duty to the individual with the principle of fairness. But there are people that, that believe that they don't have to pay their debts to the government, they don't have to pay rents uh, uh, for their uh, homes when rents have been historically very low, that that is not right. But in reply, the chief minister said the government was indeed tackling the culture of entitlement, which had been allowed to fester during the GSD years, when rent arrears grew out of control. He said the problems were finally being tackled, even though his government had only been in power for five years and the GSD were around for 16. Despite the fact that we've been in government for a much shorter period than they were, we are the ones tackling what he calls the culture of entitlement, and I call a failure of people to pay their debts, a failure of people to understand the privilege that they have when they are in a government tenancy at a low rent, and the fact that this government is tackling that which the government which he was a member of failed to deal with. The Fast Launch Control Act of 1987 has been amended to allow certain exemptions following the construction of the small boats marina and representations made by members of the public. A new category of vessel has been allowed given that it meets certain speed and brake horsepower restrictions and doesn't have an inflatable or rigid inflatable hull. Minister Likudi has taken advantage of the new bill to introduce new rules which require pilots of these vessels as well as fast launchers and jet skis to have a certificate of proficiency as well as third-party insurance. Jet skis have now also been banned at night. Finally, a bill to introduce a financial services ombudsman was presented by Minister Neil Costa and passed unanimously. The ombudsman, a manifesto commitment, will moderate consumer disputes in financial services.